is sort of like karma, like Dr. Will Tuttle talks about in the World Peace Diet. If we are, uh, whatever we do to the animals, like Chief Seattle said this too, whatever you do to the beast actually comes back to you. And one thing I've really noticed is that I feel so much more free. I actually feel free because I'm not partaking in that confinement. And you don't always see it when it's just like a slab of meat on the plate. But somehow, you know, through complicity or whatever, right. you are partaking in the confinement of animals. So if you don't want that in your own space, when you stop doing it to other creatures, all of a sudden, I know I felt a lot more free, yeah. more peace of mind, and I could fulfill my purpose on the planet because I wasn't being squelched or right. held down. Right. That's a great point. Great point. So what would you, um, if someone else thought, wow, this really sounds interesting, I'd like to look into this, what might they do to, you know, what would you recommend as a, as a path or exploration? Well, I guess I would say notice whatever brings you to life because you know like there's a quote that says what the world needs now is more people who have come alive you know that's really what the world needs is people who are alive can you imagine a planet where people are just like doing exactly what they want to do what brings them to life and yeah, then other people will tap great. into that they're going man what are you doing you look amazing right. and right. they want a piece of that they go mm -hmm. that's how i want to live i want to live uh, with this feeling of just following my joy. Yes. We're yes. not meant to suffer. I really don't believe that we're meant to suffer and you know do things that we really don't want to do. So for anybody out there who is looking to, you know, start a new career path, I would say follow your heart. Just and I know you've probably heard that before, but just maybe what I did at one time was I would just take a little notebook around with me and I would notice throughout the day when do I feel really alive? When do I feel alive? And then I would just jot that down and then pretty soon little things, little pieces of the puzzle will start connecting and things you might not have ever thought of before, you'll go, well, that's it. And you can't push it, it's like planting a seed. Right, exactly. You can't make it grow, you just fertilize it. You just keep you know, giving it the water, the sunshine and you know, put yourself in those environments where you really shine. Mm -hmm. Have you ever noticed that? Some yeah. places you just really just come alive. Really feel better. Yeah. And yeah. everyone's joy is so personal. Yeah. You know, that what is perfect for you might not be perfect for me or for you. We all have our very individual path.